Because we, because we don't feel like we're the only ones dealing with this stuff. We're not. This, this has been dealt with before. These situations have occurred before. Then, you know, Adam alayhi salam and his sadness. His sadness with Allah. Has Allah forgiven me or not? I mean, I was in Jannah just a couple of minutes ago and now I'm where? On the earth. Kind of wandering around figuring out what to do. Last thing I know, Allah was not happy with me. I did something I shouldn't have done. Are people in that position ever? That they did something that they shouldn't have done, and then life gets, takes a bad turn, and they start thinking, maybe I've done something wrong? It's a study of Adam alayhi situation. He was in that situation. How do I know if Allah has forgiven me or not? And Allah gave him a gift. You people come and ask, how do you know if Allah has forgiven you? How did Adam know if Allah has forgiven me? He didn't. Then Allah gave him a gift. Allah gave Adam alayhi salam a gift. He said, he, Allah says, you know, um, uh, Allah gave, brought Adam into contact, salam, he brought him into contact with words and then ex accepted his repentance. Right? And in that surah, in Baqarah, Allah didn't even tell what those words were. He didn't even say what they were. He just said Adam was brought into contact with words from his master and as a result of those words, therefore, he accepted his repentance. Meaning if you guys could have access to those words, if you guys, I mean, Adam alayhi salam messed up pretty bad. That's, that's pretty bad. And even he, he will give, he's given these, these incredible words, and he used them sincerely, and then Allah forgave him. So when somebody asks, how do I know if Allah's forgiven me? I say, well, you know, we are children of Adam, so we did inherit the gift. I mean, this is passed down, gifts are passed down in inheritance, right? And there's one thing that you don't have to share in inheritance and divvy up is wisdom. Wisdom is passed down 100%. Not like property. Property has to be divided. <laughs> Money has to be divided. But wisdom you can deliver 100% to the next generation. What did we get in inheritance that we can know that Allah has forgiven us? Rabbana walamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al-khasir. That dua is an inherited dua to know that you've been forgiven. That's a very powerful thing to know. You know, to, to answer that very deep and very sad, very heavy question. Then of course, Nuh salam and his spouse, his son, his son caused him grief. How many parents come to me, my son causes me so much grief. I love him so much, but he makes me so sad. Before I came here, before I came to the city, some parent called me and said, my son has caused me so much grief. I've done everything I can for this boy, and he has continually caused me grief. What do I do about it? Can you talk to him? Can you do something for him? It's like, I, all I can do, I, I'm, no, I'm nobody. I can't even help my own family members or myself. Well, what am I going to do? All I can do is remind. That's all I can do. That's all any of us can ever do. Change comes from Allah Azza wa You know? And so, and, and of course, Lut alayhi salam and how terrible he felt. Man, the, you know, talk about bad moods. You know when the, the English expression, man, I was in a bad mood. I was in a bad mood. That expression is actually only used for Lut alayhi salam. When the angel showed up to destroy the nation. Okay? See abihim. He just, he just felt bad. He saw the angels and he's like, oh God. He's, he felt so terrible. There's the, the reasons he felt that way, because they came in the form of good looking men. Right? And he, oh, this is trouble. And he was just really upset. Well, how am I going to handle this? You know? SubhanAllah. Through the tears in